My name's Phil Cleary. My grandfather, Teddy Dorian, a labourer from Brunswick, served during the Second World War. Teddy Dorian and his good mates, Michael Parlin and Billy Ottaway, were captured by the Germans in the disastrous Greek campaign led by General Blamey. For the duration of the war, they would be POWs. In 1940, 22-year-old factory worker Gladys Dorian waved goodbye to her husband, Teddy Dorian, and his brother Roy Dorian, as they sailed from Australia to take on the Nazis. By May 1941, Teddy was a POW in the appalling Corinth camp in Greece. Teddy was still in Corinth when his brother Roy was retreating through Crete towards an evacuation from Svakia in late May. I've traced Roy's journey through Crete, his escape in a rowing boat from Svakia to the remote island of Garbdos on the night of the 1st of June 1941 and his ultimate final escape to Egypt. In 2017, I shared a few glasses of wine with the renowned Cretan musician George Zalurus and his wife Sheila Hannon in Heraklion, Crete, 22 miles east of the village of Anoya, where George was born. In 1944, the Nazi army burnt Anoya to the ground and callously murdered helpless villagers. George Zalurus is steeped in the history, political and musical of Anoya and Crete, and comes from a legendary musical family. Um, we are with uh, my friend Phil Cleary in Heraklion in Crete. Phil came to Crete to find the path of the, of the Australians and New Zealanders. They fight here side by side with Cretans to against the Nazism back in the Second World War. And I came here in Heraklion with my friends, uh, Dimitris Kajapis Cafe Restaurant, uh, which is a kind of uh, like a museum here of uh, art and uh, art artists uh, uh, where, they, where they fought against during the Civil War, after the Second World times of, of Huda in so from this side, this world is uh, many artists, musicians, actors, poets. This is uh, for Roy Dorian and Rage Saunders and the Maoris. They fought in uh, 27th of May in 1941 to against the Nazis here in Crete in the village Tsikalaria outside of Hanya town. Cafetema y dos 
φραγμένος χιονισμένος ο καημένος κάθεται να ητώ Teddy Dorian and his Brunswick mates, the hard-nosed Michael Peggy Parlin and the youngster John Jackie O'Brien who won the Distinguished Conduct Medal for Selfless Superhuman Bravery at Al Alamein in 1942 at 19 years of age, all died in their 40s from alcoholism and post-traumatic stress. And Teddy's brother Roy never came home from Papua New Guinea. Gladys Dorian, a mother at 15 years of age in the middle of the Great Depression, who fought Veterans Affairs for 20 years on behalf of her tragic husband, Teddy. Gladys and the Brunswick boys, all victims of war, but all inspiring characters.